there have always been materialists in the world, even long before scientists, that are, um, and there have always been idealists in the world, people who think that know that purpose and value are part of the constituency of the physical universe. Uh, and it's the same in ethics. There have always been people who think ethics, morality, is basically founded on human decisions about how you can live together with other people. Uh, but you decide that, and you set it up. And people who believe there's a sort of an objective moral law, whether God or whatever else it might be, that you ought to adhere to. So that's, I suppose, the difference between objective ethics. You know, there it is. It's, it's true you ought not to kill babies, whatever you think. And subjective ethics, no, you know, people have the sentiment that they want to kill babies, and that's how it grows up. Uh, when uh, Aristotelian approaches to the world, to do putting purposes in the world, basically, were overthrown by the birth of modern science, uh, that had an effect also in the world of ethics. Um, it took away the notion of objective purpose. So you could no longer ask, what is the purpose of human life, or what is, what is a good life, as though there was some objective standard of a good life. Um, you had to make it up yourself. And then you had the question, well, how can you make it up? And utilitarians were people who thought, well, the obvious thing is pleasure and pain. You, try to do what brings pleasure, avoid what brings pain. And so that was very much bound up with the, chain, with the rise of science, really. Uh, at the same time, uh, utilitarianism, of course, was uh, an empiricist morality. <laughs> that is, it was very much bound up with thinking, my pleasure, my pain, uh, this is a, something I feel. Pleasure and pain don't exist out there, so it's very much to do with human experiences. So. Utilitarianism is bound up, first, with the rejection of Aristotelian purpose of view of nature, and secondly, with, with the rise of empiricism, a concentration on human experience as the basis of reality. It's not bound up with materialism, okay? so it's bound up with that, that early empiricist view, but taken in a non-theistic direction. I mean, I think certainly utilitarianism is a way of trying to get a mechanical model of ethics. I mean, Bentham even had a calculus you know, to, to calculate uh, how much pleasure there was in reading poetry and how much pleasure there was in having a hot bath. And you can't get more mechanical than that. You know? So, yeah, it was a, a mechanistic sort of philosophy. It's developed a lot since then, but that was, ben that was Bentham's uh, original idea.